Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to structure your page with bold, full-width toggle modules using Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here and click on Add New. Now here, we need to give this page a name. Now you can name your page whatever you want, but in my case, I'm just gonna call it Full Width Toggle. And then I'm gonna click on Use Divi Builder. Now I prefer working on the front end editor, so I'm gonna come over here and click on Start Building. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is to go into our section settings. And over here, we need to add a top and bottom padding. So I'm gonna click here on Design, Spacing. And for the top and bottom padding, we're gonna add zero to the top and zero to the bottom, and then Save. Next, we need to come over here and add our column structure. So we're gonna click here on this plus and add a single column. And before we add any modules, we need to head over here to our row settings. And then we're going to click on design, sizing, and make sure you activate use custom uh, gutter width. Now here we need to remove all the space around the uh, columns. So we're gonna set our gutter width to one. The next step is to just make sure we have a full design here. So we need to um, add 100% uh, percent over here on the width and also on the maximum width, we're gonna set this to 100%. So that just ensures that we have a full width design. The next step is to head over here to spacing and uh, as we did with the sections, we are going to remove all the spacing around this row. So I'm gonna add zero pixels both to the top and the bottom and then we're gonna save. Now we're going to start adding our module. So the module I'm gonna add here is a toggle. So I'm just gonna search for toggle and here it is, I'm gonna select it. So you can give this title uh, whatever you want. So you can just call this our services, for example. There we go. And then you also need to add some uh, dummy text in there. So I use this uh, lorem ipsum. I'm just gonna copy a few paragraphs here and paste it in this content area. All right, so now that I have my uh, content area, the next step is to scroll down here and just set our state. So over here, you can either set it as open or closed. So in my case, I'm just gonna leave it as close because I rather people go in and click on the plus button to, to reveal the content that's on there. All right, so the next step now is to work on our design. So I'm gonna come over here. And uh, first of all, I'm gonna start working with my icon. So I'm gonna click here on icon and then I'm gonna add my icon color. Now, in your case, you can use colors that work with your branding, but if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that I have my color, the next step is to customize the size. So I'm gonna activate use custom icon size. And by default, it's set at 16 pixels. So I'm gonna set this to 6VW so you can see there it's massive, okay? Right, so uh, moving on, the next step now is to go on to the hover settings. So I'm gonna come over here and click on this arrow that's pointing up click on the hover tab, and then I'm gonna add my color in here. So that's the color that's gonna show on hover. So moving on, I'm gonna come over here to the toggle. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to add a color here to the closed toggle background color. So closed toggle background color, I'm gonna set this to white. And while I'm here, I am going to set my hover. So I'm gonna go to hover and I'm going to set this to black. So making sure I I'm on my normal color here. I'm going, also going to work on my text. So I'm gonna click here on this little brush tool. So over here, my title text color, I'm going to click on this brush tool and set this to black. So for my title font, I'm gonna set this to monster right. On my text alignment, I'm gonna make sure it's aligned to the left. Now I'm gonna add my title size and I'm gonna set this to 8VW so you can see it's nice and big. And then I'm also going to set my letter spacing. So over here by default it's set to zero. I'm gonna set it to minus one. And then I'm also going to set my text line height. So over here I'm gonna make sure it's set to 0 0.7 EM. So now let's head over back over here and set our closed title text. So I'm gonna click here on this drop down, and uh, again, we're going to set our closed title to Monster Rat. And we also need to adjust our text size. 
So I'm going to set this to 18 VW. Moving on, I'm going to go to the line height. And here, I'm going to set it to 0 0.8 EM. So what we're also going to do here is to change the closed title text color on hover. So I'm going to click on this arrow pointing up, click on hover. And as you can see here, I mean, we can't see the text here. That's because it is black. So we need to change the color here. So I'm going to add my color. And now you can see it's the reverse. So this is what's, well, how it's going to look on the desktop. And then over here is how it's going to look on the hover. So make sure you add those colors appropriately. All right, so moving on, we need to uh, start working on our text settings. So I'm going to come all the way down here to our body text. And I'm going to start here by uh, changing my font. And this is going to be Fira Sans. Right, so I'm going to go with Fira Sans for my uh, normal text. And for my font weight, I'm going to set this to light. And for the alignment, I'm going to set it to justify. And now it's time to add my body text size and the line height. So for my body text size, I'm going to set this to 1.2 VW. And for my body text line height, I'm going to set this to 2.1 EM. Next, I'm going to add uh, some spacing. So I'm going to click here and click on top padding. Now here we need to set our space and it's going to be 10 VW, both to the top and the bottom. So make sure you activate the chain. And then we're also going to add our left padding and I'm just going to add it over here like that. Now to complete the toggle settings, we also need to add the following lines of CSS code. Now this CSS code can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So we need to come over here to advanced. And then we need to go to the custom CSS and toggle content. And this is where we need to add our CSS code and then save. Right, so now that we've uh, saved this, what you can do now is to duplicate this as many times as you want and just change the titles to this page. So instead of having our services, you can change this to maybe our company or whatever it is that you wanna add. So to clone it, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is to come over here to the top and click this little icon here. And then once you've duplicated that, you can go in and change the titles. Now, the beauty of duplicating this is you don't have to go in and add all those customizations that we did in the beginning. Now, let's save and take a look at our final design. So I'm going to click save. And now this is our final design. So as you can see, when I mouse over this area, you can see the hover is working. And then when I click on this button here, it's showing all our content. And when I scroll down here, you can see the hover is working as well. And I, when I click this plus button, it then reveals all the content in there. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.